welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Tinkering tonight. Making some plans and researching stuff. It's the general plan for tonight. Tinkering, researching, making plans. Kirby, welcome in, dude. Been watching the World Cup. Actually, I don't think we need to research these because they may have been spawned in. Oh, the cheat item thingy. they did now I, I'm not a massive football fan but I turned as soon as it went to extra time I had a feeling it was going to go to uh, penalties so I've just watched the last little bit started the stream straight away Bono hey mate didn't you watch the game yeah I did yeah well I was just speaking to Herbie just finished I watched bits of it because I had the kids here. They they went about half hour ago, so I've been watching bits of it in between. I've just started streaming now. It's finished. I watched the penalty shootout and extra time. What a game, eh? So I'm guessing you all saw the video that I dropped earlier on YouTube. This island is now done, did. Flipped Mezcal. I've just put another power plant in here. And now I'm clipping some Jalalia kitchens here as well. I need to get the calculator up. That ducks. We do have access to an early version of the new calculator that Ducks is working on. Because he loves us. So yes, where was I? What was I making? 420 summer? 426 tons of mezcal. Let's see it. Mister. 466, this is saying, for 20,000 houses. What if I change that to... 19,000 about 18,000 yeah that'll do we're gonna base everything on 18,000 buildings in the new world which is a lot because we're only getting 44,000 in all of the old world in the cape so we get 18,000 artists to houses that is gonna be huge so 419 tons of mezcal. I'm doing 426. For some reason it's. Oh, here it is. We'll do it. We need 242. So let's say 250 tons of this Jalia. Can we change that down here? No. Can we change it here? No, we won't be using her because she's a waste. We're going to be using the investment envoy. So we change it to hibiscus petals again. Productivity is going to be at 100. Whatever the investment envoy does and the kitchen. Plus 50% workforce. Jalia. 
kitchen. So we're going to be 100 base, 100 electric, 50 for a ferrous, 50 workforce, 40 for the oven, and Enbesson Envoy is 35. Now each of these are times two apart from the electric and the base, so that's... That's 35 times 2 is 70 plus 80 plus 100. 80 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. So 550 when they're clipped. Not bad, eh? Five hundred and fifty percent. We're getting one hundred and twenty-one. We're getting almost half of it for free. So how many is that? How many do we need? Eleven. Is that all? Yeah, I did the working conditions. You get working conditions is only once, right? You don't get that twice. So that should be five hundred. So 100 for Ferras, 80 for the oven, 70 for the Embes and Envoy, plus 100 base, plus 100 electricity, plus 50 working conditions. is actually 500 because you only get the working conditions once. 12. So if we say 13, 13 clipping points. I'm not too sure whether I even have that. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Which kitchen? Uh, the uh, Jalia. Jalia kitchen. Obviously, we want the Embassy Envoy because it's extra goods. We want the Ferras. And then the next biggest boost is Elmer's Electric Oven. Nothing else gives 40%. Oh, you haven't played Season 4 yet? No. So, yeah. Let's just do away with these. This isn't electrified for some reason because of that. New specialist is pretty powerful. Yeah, you could say that. It, it's such a well thought out DLC, it really is. Right, we need to do some shenanigans here because we need we're gonna need a warehouse close. I don't like to travel too far, otherwise it drops the production right down. Found this out with these. Tell all right. Why's my music stopped?
No idea. Now it's started again. Would make a good place to actually put the warehouse, I suppose. Yeah, this new MBS and Envoy item is crazy good. The way that you can actually use it for the items in MBESA that we're swapping the goods out for as well is really good. I don't even think I've got all the items in these. There's a purple paper. That needs a purple paper. That's got workforce items in it. This needs all of them. This has got nothing. We need to get one in down here. Crazy, isn't it? You think you'd fit that in there? to me right that's one two three four five six seven that one two three four five six seven eight i can understand why that's skewed i've twisted well i twisted the layout somewhere but we haven't Right, we've got two more. One here. That's perfect. It's got no electric. It does have electric. That hasn't got electric now. Now it has. So there's four there.
one's doing nothing. I'll squeeze one in there as well. Did we say we needed 12 and a half or 13 or something? Yeah, 12.12, so 13. Oh, we got 12. I mean, we can put one in here and just make use of the Embassy and Envoy on the electric thinking we do that got quick access to there this one's got that these I've already access to a warehouse there oh, I want a promotion of your channel viewers follows views chats bots prices low no thanks mate not buying any Whatever it is you're selling. Don't know how to delete it. Block him, whoever he is. Give me the option to delete it. Hang on. Just clear the chat. He's blocked now. Oh, 
I'm guessing when we get the, all, all the items in here, that's going to be enough then. Because we wanted 12.1. We've got 13, but one of them's only going to have... Make use of the MBES and Envoy. Okay, let's get some items over here then. Have you not played season four yet, Bono? Anyway, I thought you would have been straight on it. You should get it. It's very, very good. This is very well put together. You can see why well, the other, the other DLCs weren't that good, to put it bluntly. Because they were putting all their time together on this. Oh, you haven't played it, nice. You do own it. That makes sense. Right, while we're waiting for the rest of these Embess and M boys to arrive. Yeah, lots going on, you tell me. You know it. While we're waiting for the rest of these uh, ambassador envoys to done, we need to increase the amount of hibiscus to that island. Because... Let's turn off... What uses does perfume? I don't know. Let's turn off everything apart. Well, we know these don't use hibiscus. Let's turn off everything apart from the Jalia. That doesn't. I'll tell us. 121.18 tons of hibiscus. That's what extra we need. So 125. We need to work on now we definitely haven't got enough room to do that on our hibiscus island over here because we've maxed out we've nearly maxed out these i mean this is not being affected so maybe making 223 we might be able to squeeze it over here Do some rolling for the floodgates. Yeah, it starts getting crazy when you get to the fans and the film reel and the scooters and that. It's, it's going to get super interesting. So 121 tons is all we need. If we can, f this bit here should do that. Although we may need to move this or have another one. In the apres, they can go.
The Apries can go, we can deal with them a bit later. Have you done the math for that item who reduces modules for her disbiscus tea petals? No. The annoying thing is, um, with the introduction of the Ambassador Envoy, because the productivity is plus 35, you can no longer get zero workforce with just a tractor and a plow. You need another item, so I need beckoning to reduce the workforce by 25%. That makes sense. Because he increases the workforce by 25% and he reduces the workforce by 25%. So if I want to have no houses on any of these islands, which is what I want to do at the minute, then you need the plow and the beckoning to get you the zero workforce. So yeah, I mean, obviously, if you can reduce the amount of space that you're taking up by that item, it is definitely better, but then we would need workers on the island. It's only 10%, isn't it? But I'm guessing it would be better overall, as it usually is. Anytime you can reduce the number of fields, it does do a better output. But for this instance, because we're using the Abessin Envoy to give the extra goods, unfortunately, we have to use another item to keep it at zero workforce. I mean, I am going to want population in, in Besser in the end, so I probably will. Why do I use him for minus 25% workforce? I'll just explain that, because the Abessin Envoy increases the workforce, and I want them to be at zero workforce. Can you use the other plow? Yeah, I suppose so. But either way, it cancels out an item for cancels out the item for the indigo one. The other plow is a forty percent boost and it, so it'd be an extra five percent. So yeah, true. We can bring that over. We can bring two of the seed drill. I think it's 40. It's minus. It's 40% production, 50 workforce. Yeah, you got it. So we'll be gaining an extra 5%. So yeah, we'll do that, Bono. Good idea. That was just the item that I picked up when I was scanning through for a minus 25% workforce. So steel drill and the plow is going to give us an extra, an extra bit of production. Two extra plows. Best an M boy. M better tambourine. Yeah. It's an extra five percent. But that's gonna add up, isn't it? It's all gonna help. All going to help. Every little helps, as they say. Especially when you're dealing with the numbers that we are.
We're going to need to check the amount of fertilizer as well. Not possible. Bricks. Hey Robs, and look on the World Cup, dude. What a game! What a game! All right, it's got to be a better way of doing this than that, like that. Maybe we can do. Swap out the beckoning for the drill. These were just latched onto the zero workforce items that were around this. Watch out, beckoning for the drill. Yeah, thanks, Robs. Yeah, uh, I'm really happy with the island. I've modified it a little bit as well. But yeah, it's worked out super good sure a lot of people will find that interesting I'm gonna do a similar video for everything best way to min max all of these new goods that everybody's got to 
plan. It was nice to make a video again. I've been streaming that much. I've been, been streaming that much. I haven't really been making many. It was nice to teach people stuff again. I can't even remember most of them in Maxim doing your saves. Well, any questions? Just ask, mate. All it, all I try to do, all we, all we try to do when we're in Maxim is get the most production out of the least amount of space. That is pretty much the essence of what we do. So the best items possible in trade unions to produce the most amount of stuff in the less amount of space used. So it's just a matter of control queuing. So say hibiscus. Well, hibiscus is not a very good example because it's a farm, but let's say typewriters. Type writers. Typewriter? What's the things that they get? Assembly line type. Let no, what am I thinking of? What do the scholars use? They literally don't even know where to start. Um telephones. Telephones. Telephone manufacturer. So yeah, control Q, type in the name of the building that it's going to list every single item what you can there. And then you just work through them and work out what's the best. Now, just from looking at this, I know straight away that Ferris is going to give us the best boost. It's 50% flat boost. None of these other items are going to give a boost that big. Now, once you've got a Ferris in play and there's not that many other items, I would always go for zero workforce. So I would then use the printing press and the bell. That means we're going to gain 50% from working conditions, plus another 25 per here. They're going to use no workforce to make these telephone manufacturers, and they can also be clipped. So we'll be getting two Ferrises, two printing presses, plus two palace policies. So, yeah, it's just simple. What's the word I'm looking for? Just working your way down from the top, picking the best item. If you can't, if you haven't got no really, really good specialists, like... Telephone manufacturers have no dedicated specialists for them, so it's just generic ones. Then I would tend to go for zero workforce because the telephone manufacturers use, for, for this example, use a lot of uh, engineers to make them. So space you save on not having any is good. Missing the biscuit field, yeah, we know that. All right, let's get the calculator back up. Let's go into the artistas let's turn on mezcal and jalea this will give us an overall figure of the hibiscus that we need for these so so 331 we're making 284 so we're almost there without too much trouble the warehouses are holding up got all this space over here all is good all right i assume we're going to want a couple of these can we I think that was in the best spot. This can go there. That means we've now got room for two of these if needed. Do one there. We'll allocate space for one there just in case. We'll do something like that for now and try and fill this space in with this one. Yeah, so where you start is work out what you want to make. Everything's got to be inside a trade union, put it that way. Oh my god, you can be a streamer. I could have done with you here earlier. Somebody posted some thing in there. I don't know how to delete a message, but I had to clear it. So, Ferras. No. Embassant envoy and a plow. Right, the only thing is, this isn't going to reach. Is 
a big fuck up on my part. Although it may not be. If we do this. Need more bricks. I'm thinking we're gonna need, are we making enough fuel to start with? Yes, just. Now we increasing productivity of the fuel station. It's not letting us. Yeah, is that bugged out? Look, we can't increase the pro and change the working conditions on the fuel station. I'm pretty sure we used to be able to do that. But yeah, I'm gonna have to move this. I have to move this. All the way down here and hope it can reach. It's reaching all them now it can come to here but pretty sure if we turn this to brick road we can reach a lot more we may need to shift these around as well That's good because we can now do this. You, you, and we will put the abyss in envoy when we get it. This can go back to that. So we need an extra abyss and envoy. This is now going to reach pretty much all of this. needs to get the fuel from the tractor barn for it to be zero workforce. Which is on its way. Send you back to Crown Falls. You back to Crown Falls. Need one Embesson Envoy. Yeah, says to run. Going back to your question about not knowing where to start, the first thing you need to do is, is work out if it can be clipped and whether it's viable to clip it or not. So like I was talking about the uh, telephone manufacturers, these are freaking gigantic. 
So it makes sense to clip them. To get double the boosts from two trade unions at the same time with less amount of workforce. That's the first thing to do. Work out if it can be clipped. Next one, put the best items in possible. Simple as that, best items in possible. Usually it's the ones that either give free goods because when you're clipping them, you're going to get it times two. Uh, and then you work your way down in productivity like which ones have the most give the most overall output We have a fire station here. No. Does a fire station need workforce? Apparently not. Right, that's 292. We need 320 ish. All investment farms can use fertilizer. Yes. All farms across all regions can use fertilizer. We don't have any farms in the Arctic. So, yeah, new world, Embassa, old world. We need to check that we're making enough. So, at the minute, this needs five tons of fertilizer. This is paired with. Manola farm and citrus. Yeah, we need eight. We're producing nine, so we're good. We're good. We can always up that as well. We can just spam in another fertilizer works and get some more. It doesn't produce more dung, but it will produce more fertilizer. Let's check the range of this. Farm in the Arctic, yeah, what would you farm? Seals. Seal farming. Is our NBES and Envoy ship here? Yes. One, two. Apparently, has already got one in it. This one. That's three hundred and thirty-four. That's more.
suppose we're going to want a fire station there as well. Right. Let's make some more just for a buffer. I mean, still only five tons, and we're still five tons of fuel. So let's just make a couple more. Couple more. And then we need to put a couple of the apiary ones back in here because we deleted those. Bricks. It's a never-ending mission for mud bricks. Lucky you can buy them from Katima. So you ship dung, produce fertilizer locally for now. I've been making it in New World. No, the fertilizer for me and the dung is being made in the New World. I'll show you it in a second. And it's all coming out here. Fertiliser you can only make in the new world. So yeah, fertiliser at the minute is being made here, which I showed in my last video. So I've got one, two, three. Plop another one in there. This is where we need to make sure we're not using too much dung. So Manola Farm and Citrus are linked together. Yeah, so we only need 67. We need 67 tons, we're producing 78 tons of dung and that is including the dung that is now being used to make 12 tons of fertilizer. What the heck? Fire stations might be a good idea then, yeah? Yeah, we forgot about them. Forgetting about fire stations. Not generally a good idea. Come back to this. In fact, because we're making enough of this now, let's check the calculator again. Let's turn on all of the new goods. And then let's see how much. So 331 hibiscus. 1,000 tons of indigo. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. I suppose we could. But yeah, where's the beeswax? 934 tons a minute of beeswax. That's a lot, isn't it? Fuck, what's that needed for? So scooters. Scooters. I need 209. No, I didn't need all that. I must have left something on. Mezcal. So scooters need a thousand tons of indigo. A thousand tons of linseed. What the fuck's that for? Oh dear. Tons of linseed. Well, that's from the Embassin Farms. I don't know. A thousand tons of linseed. That's got to be wrong.
Gotta paint those scooters. Yeah, that's what the uh, indigo is, isn't it? Indigo gets swapped for that. But why would I need all that linseed? It's because I've not got them at zero workforce, isn't it? And that's the linseed you'd need to... You'd need to do it. So we need to set the indigo farms to... Zero workforce. Need to set the apiary. That's at fifty. Soist one N Seaston. Sorry, mate, if I butchered your name. Brand new Prime. Welcome in. Thanks. Thanks for the sub, mate. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome. Yeah, I still can't understand why well, we need a thousand tons of linseed. Is this for the... Linen. Do we need linen for something? What do we need linen for? Oh, we need linseed to make these lanterns. Thanks again, Seiston. Seistine. Seist. 1M. Thanks again, mate. Still saying a thousand tons of linen there. A thousand tons of linseed. Don't need it for bombins. Definitely don't need it for scooters. Don't need it for champagne, light bulbs, lanterns, or souvenirs. That's got to be a bug. We'll worry about that when we come to it. Anyway, the apiary. Apiary. Wee, wee, wee. This is used to swap out for stuff. Now we need 600 plus tons for just scooters. Oh, the investors need tapestries. Need a thousand tons of staff tapestries. That's what the linen's for. So, investor's going to be cool. This is going to be good. Let's turn all the investor stuff off for now. It's just totally bugged out. Totally bugged out. Turn all the investor shizzle off for now. This is going to give us a clearer view. And we'll turn all of this back on. Beep, bop, boop, bop, beep, bop. Okay, that's better. That is better. It's not showing the hibiscus petals now, is it? Three hundred and thirty-one tons of hibiscus, eight tons of indigo. That's all. Three hundred and seventy-seven. Eight tons of indigo. Right. We've still got, in fact, we need to turn this on. We need to turn this back on because this is the general overview. At least we know. So a thousand tons of apiary, a thousand tons of indigo. 301 tons of hibiscus, 1,000 tons of linseed. It's going to get crazy. Making lanterns, 
Ah, uh, yes. So I'm going to be using the item for lanterns that changes it to light bulbs. So we see lanterns here. This one changes the need of candles to light bulbs. Apply globally. That should change the amount of apiary. Yeah, I mean, it's not 200 tons a minute off. Not an awful lot, but we still got to paint those scooters purple, boy. A thousand tons of indigo. I think we'll leave that island for now. In case the numbers that we managed to create over here increases, we're creating nothing apparently. Because this one thing here is out of range, of course it is. And then that means everything else stops. So yes, as soon as that gets fuel, these will start working again for some reason. If one of these tractor bands doesn't have its fuel, it says that you need three workforce and it tries to split that across the whole fucking island and then nothing else works. So it's just a shitty bug we've got going on at the minute. As soon as this gets its fuel, which it has, these should start to work again. We've only got an island storage of 600. Yeah, that's going to cause us some problems. Have to rectify that. Eleven fifty is a bit better. All right, three hundred forty-five tons. That's more than we need. Excellent. All right, now we're just waiting for some investment envoys. Barasses. And kitchens. Send you back to Crown Falls. You back to Crown Falls. Right, 340 tons a minute coming from Mbessa. We need to check on that. Make sure we've got enough ships on that. I doubt we have. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. 
And it's taking... Oh, I wish there was a way to get back in here without deleting it. And it's taking... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19 minus 3. 16 minutes times by... 350 a minute is 5, 600 divided by 400 a ship is 14 ships. Okay, so we need another six ships on that route. Oh, baby, that's going to get busy. We're going to have to upgrade those piers. Upgrade those piers pretty quickly. We don't need these. Or you. Major discoveries. We've got five piers. My Easterns. Besson Envoy for the win. Fourteen ships just for hibiscus petals. Six more than what we have already. One, two, three, four, five, six. And is that all just for the Jalia and the... That is all just for the Jalia and the Mezcal, yeah? Yeah, that's good because we're going to have it both on the same island, which is very good. Yeah. It's working out a bit rather well, isn't it? Any trade unions here do we have without full items? This needs item for that, so we won't worry about that for now. One, two, three, four. Four. So we need a Ferris, we need four Embassy Envoys and a Ferris. Four Embassy Envoys, a Ferris and a Cooker thing, oven. Three. Push that to the front. How much Kalimimari? Only 121 tons a minute. We're nearly making that. Actually, on Orland, which would be fantastic. We're making 53. Can we increase that? Yes.
And get a trade union in there. Can't really get a warehouse in it, but I can use these, hopefully. Get one in there. Yeah, let you can adjust the working conditions of these and they don't show up here, which is weird. And the items we're using for these is Moby. Moby, Pedro, and the long range bomb troll. Moby, Pedro, Long Range Troll. Right, these, we want them to wait for the hibiscus at Mbessa, but we don't want them to wait the other end because we haven't assigned another pier yet. So as it stands, that's, that's how I want it. So, more squidage. More squids needed.
You think you'd be able to electrify these as well, but you can't. Got the main warehouse here, and there's one there. We could really do with another one, though. Herbie, thank you, sir. Welcome back. Six months. Maximum support. Thanks ever so much. Welcome back, welcome back. Six months of the tier one, Herbie V. Shit, we needed two of the, uh, Yeah, best and Envoy on the way. Herbie, thanks again, mate. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Thanks for your continued support, as always. To change my battery on my light, two secs. That isn't clipped, is it, that one? I can understand why this is skewed. I've twisted it somewhere. I mean, these are on the same level. I don't know, it's twisting my brain. How did I grind through all those items for trade unions? I've actually used a cheat mod to get me these items. I'll show you it in a minute. I used a few, well, a couple of cure life mods just to help me get stuff done a bit quicker. That 
be in one of them. So yeah, the mod I use, these are the mods I use. I use one called Cheat Items, one called Grand Gallery, but that doesn't really do much. And I use Buildable, buildable, buildable Residences, which I haven't used in this save. So Cheat Items, what you do is all you simply do is you build a sailing ship, yeah, then you get this icon pop up. And every time you click that item, it puts 10, I think it's 10 of each item into your storage over here. Maybe 50. Simple. Doesn't do uh, many of the new items, as you can tell, I'm researching the best known boy and stuff like that, but all your basic stuff. Also, Wicked set up these specialist farming islands. We've got the palace policy set to Department of Culture, and we've got 10 influence for a museum module. We're getting the influence back for these modules, so they're free. They're not costing anything. They may actually be giving us more than what we need, I'm not too sure. But yeah, with this policy, 120% chance of reason public mind. If we change this to right to remain, our influence goes through the roof, so we can't do that. But yeah, anyway, this island with an attractiveness of 5,950 because of this zoo and the completed sets. With the palace policy of Department of Culture, increase visits. Um, plus MMLEs. Plus, if we had these in, it will be that. Her and him. These three items are affecting public mooring. Which is on this side. Oh, look, he's already got them in. So the items are affecting the public mooring on that side. So yeah, we get a shit ton of items coming to here, look. This is, this is all the items that we've got. These are just the ship items. We get Ermine Gilda. We get Lala Mazig, which is the ones that we want. We're getting all of the good items for trade unions. We're getting Megs, Francois, Springberg, Marie Antoine, Zimmerman, Malchim, Hans Klein, Bruno, Darios, all of them come as visitors. So if I wanted to spend ages sending ships around and collect all these together, then... I could. That only counts for items that you can get normally, right? Not the items for transmuting. No, it gives the items for transmuting as well, mate. So it saves me farming any scrap and all that shit. Very, very useful. Bit OP, but hey, my game. Play it how I want. People don't want to sit and watch me for hours. Farming scrap. You forgot to change back your influence, did I? Thank you. Right. I need another full set. Embass and Envoy of Paris and a thingy, because I'm a dope and I missed it. Um... Best and envoy for us. But we need another set of hard masters items. We need Moby, him, and long range bomb troll. How many squids do we make now? Nearly 67 tons. Not enough, but maybe him. Let's roll. Seventy-two. It is. It is. A lot easier. Why didn't I think of that? Have I even set up? I don't even think I've set one up over here. I did send a ship over here. Now you remind me. I did send a ship with aluminium. Or did I? Oh. 
Nej. Yeah. It's definitely easier to do that. But I haven't thought of it. Well done. We'll get some aluminium brought over here. We'll do that. Aluminium's being made here. dying. I don't know whether it's from fire or... Fire or illness. One of the two. Anything these are missing is cool. Now we are trading for that. How much do we need? We need 42 tons on this island. We need 119 tons on this island and we're not getting any. Okay. Does that mean none of these... None of these solos are working. Which means every, the production of everything is going to be super low over here. So, has this got corn on here? Yeah. Why haven't I got a ship taking that? I'm not making any celluloid over on this island, so you can go. Swap them around. You can load. Go on. And load. Need a hundred tons of corn a minute. 119 tons of corn a minute. Right, that's gonna be a problem. How much are we trading for here? We're trading for 3100. Divide by 30. So we're trading only a hundred tons ish if this takes 30 minutes. So all of this is gonna to have to go from here. Straight to Manola Farm. Thirty one hundred. How long's it taken us to do a cycle? Why is it not letting me look at what's going on? Corn is full. This is coming to visitor one to Manila farm. Who cannot be unloaded as the storage is full. What? Placeholder. What's placeholder mean? What does a legendary 
Red item in zone. Yeah, it's just a placeholder. Manola. Manola farm has no corn, yeah? And this says, good cannot be unloaded as the storage is full. Oh, it's just unloaded some. We'll ignore that. Storage. Corn. It's coming from the main island. Seventy nine tons of squid. Right, that says we're still making 78 tons of dung and 12 tons of fertilizer. So you're telling me if I delete all of these silos, still make the same amount? That can't be right. If that's the case, we've just saved a shit ton of room. Not drop on much, is it? Still the same amount of fertilizer, and the dung has dropped by what was it? 76, so 12 tons by not having them silos. I think I'm gonna live with that. Shuffle these around and just get some more farms in because the powered pastures still work the same. Because these are just a flat four minutes per pasture, no matter what. Okay, that's interesting. Super interesting. So, because we're not actually using the alpaca wool, we're just dumping it, boosting it. The extra goods that we get from the silo. I mean, it does give 100% productivity. But we're having to deal with a squillion tons of corn. I think I'm going to rework this without. productivity is real nice yeah but we're needing 100 tons of corn which we've got to use 10 ships to get over here which is 
Plus it's taking up a trading slot. We've got to make the goods to trade for that. And I don't actually need the alpaca wool. All I need is the saltpeter, which the output's not going to be changed because it's just an electrified farm no matter what. The dung, the alpaca wool we're actually just dumping. The dung was linked with citrus manola farm. We're nearly there. We're going to save a lot of space. Save a lot of space. So I'm thinking, always thinking that this is going to be better. At some point, we're going to be able to squeeze another farm in. Do I use town laws on Manola? Yes, I do, mate. I'll show you in a second. I mean, I may just leave it as it is. Another farm in citrus, just under, aren't we? So I do need to try and squeeze one in because the pro pro productivity is not so high. So we managed to sneak another farm in there. Another farm citrus. Still just slightly on the dung. Really need to try and squeeze another one in here. Right. One, two, four, I've just gone. Just under still.
We're actually making 15 tons more sugar cane than we need. I don't know whether we can... I don't know, we're running out of space. Doesn't tell you how much dung you produce, does it? And also, without the silos, we are we have more electrified fields compared to if we do have silos, because we're just fitting in extra farms and doing away with the silos. And ultimately, we've just been in the been in the alpaca wool anyway, so I think it's a win-win. It's a win win win. Well, we'll leave it for now. Right, these are all working now. So, 122 tons of corn. Don't know how much corn these silos will be using, actually. It doesn't look like an awful lot, does it? like ultimately I've just done all that for nothing because the corn is mainly just for the Jalea stuff what a fucking donkey oh well you live and learn I'm just gonna get a drink I'll be back two seconds Set this to corn. As we need to, really. Where does the airship hangar come in? Airship platform. Can't transfer workforce with that over here. Does electrify fields even work? Yeah, it does. It produces saltpeter. So each one of these fields it's because the salt pit is full that if I delete some out the warehouse, you'll see. This is very slowly. It's like a ton every four minutes, so a quarter of a ton a minute, but it's per field. It 
So yeah, every four minutes. And all it needs to be is electrified. You don't have to electrify the field. You, as long as the, the actual main building is electrified, as you can tell, then the field is classed as being electrified. But yeah, town halls from Manola, what you were asking earlier. I am using Saint D'Artois, Louis P. He said, I'm puncturing Pioneer and a papal, papal paper. Increasing the population. Increasing the population by. Jacob gives one for sewing machines, spectacles, light bulbs, champagne, and fans. So we're getting one for the sewing machines and the fans. Papal paper gives one for coffee, mezcal, Saint D'Artois, coffee, and. Um, a light bulbs and the a light bulbs a lifestyle need yeah so when we give them the light bulbs i think it affects that as well one ounce that's that one all of the rest of the trade unions are done That's done, that's done, that's done. They're done, that's done. All is good. I think this island is finally complete. So the only thing stopping us over here is corn, pretty much. Yeah, this island isn't even built up. It's just decisive at the minute but yeah town halls everywhere every island always has full town hall coverage same d'artois purple paper louis any grid layout no just get them in best you can i mean this one i did the town halls after i built it so it was pretty shit but i mean if you're doing it ideally from a fresh Then I'll show you in the old world. You have vertical lines, so they all follow the same path. Do them till they touch, and you fit the other ones in so they interlock. So vertical lines, and then just stagger them so they almost touch. It's the best coverage you can get, obviously, with circles. Eggman, welcome in. Any good new seeds? Now, it's funny you should say that. In Anno discussion in the Discord, a couple of seeds have come up. I will not be starting again, personally, because I just can't be bothered. Is there a way to turn on all lifestyle needs, or do you need to toggle them individually? No, yeah, you need to do it individually. There was a couple that popped up the other day. So there's this one. 1707095715. This is the seed with the highest number of tiles in the New World, with no rivers in the New World, Old World, or Cape. So statistically, that's the best one. Because every single island in the New World has no rivers. Yeah, you found some on Zuno's Discord. I think this is the one. This is where it's come from. Rob's has got this from somewhere. Yeah. If you want to go down that rabbit hole of restarting every two weeks, be my guest. But I would just pick one and just get on with it because we're never going to get anywhere near Zizuno and Aintec just simply because I don't have enough time to dedicate to it. So, yeah, I'm happy with the seed I've got. 
But yeah, Degman, believe me. You want the best seed? That looks like the one because um, Wicked was showing me it the other day. It's got zero rivers at all in the new world, which is massive, but... Yeah, I won't be starting again. I'm still undecided as of how I'm going to do this max pop run. I may make everything and not use any docklands whatsoever. Yeah, it's always nice to know you're on at least a seed that's up there, Dagman. Agreed. I'm on the 310 something seed, which was the best one before this last DLC came out, so. I'm happy. All right, let's go back to here again. Now, this has, has had a chance to deliver some hibiscus petals. Some corn, sorry. I've got two ships on this. It's bugged out again. Uh, 22. It's taking 16 minutes to do a trip. We've got 3,100. Sixteen minutes to do a trip. Thirty-one hundred. Odd sixteen trips is hundred ninety-three. So it's going to be eight ships we need for that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have to wait a little longer just to really get the best seed, but there are some excellent ones that have come out, yes. Which is more than enough to do a min match run. Exactly, Robs. Unless you're spending 40 hours, 50 hours per island, trying to max every single tile, which I do not have time to do, then yeah, any one of those seeds is going to be good enough. So we're done. This island is totally done. Jalea. 226 tons a minute. We are making. And we need 246. Fuck. These must be at 500%, yeah? Five hundred percent. That was my calculations. Hundred plus fifty. What? Plus forty. Plus 35, plus 50, plus 40, plus 35, plus 50, plus 100 is 500. So 500%. 500 this is saying only 400. Why? He's having to wait too far to get to a warehouse. So you can now go to that one. You can go to that one. You can go to that one. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. Yep, Dagman, you'll be good on any one of those seeds that I've just shown you then, mate. Calamari is the only thing stopping us. Calamari. Alright, we're on at 80. I suppose... If I hadn't put all that there... Can we move all this? Down a bit without deleting anything.
That didn't really work very well, did it? So Ferris press, Ferris press forklift times two. Looks like the presses are not coming through from the cheat item so we'll research some of them citrus now we need long range bottom troll moby him Asylum's becoming pretty crazy. We ultimately need to finish the trade routes. We need to colonise these islands. I did start setting up the trade routes for New World Mezcal. And two. Yeah, 
move to New World Mezcal. Yeah, all is good. Once we've sorted out these items over here, we'll make sure we're making enough squid. This should be enough. Making 11. We're going to double that. Can't delete ship of the line with delete now, no? Yes. It does, Robs. Right, where are those boats? Must be here already. There's one. I like these little airships that deliver the workforce and just do their own thing. They don't actually take up loading time, luckily, they just sort of hover over this bit. Just handy. Move this down more. Don't really want to. Just live with it. So, if we link citrus with Manola Farm now, are we making enough squid? Oh, so close. Yet so far. Good enough. So Mezcal and Jalea, done. So Manola Farm linked with Citrus, linked with Tambourine, everything should be golden. What? That trade union's affecting it. That trade union's affecting it. It's only getting one boost. 
That's an imaginary trade union there. This is getting three times a boost. What the fuck? It's getting. Two and none, apparently. This is a known bug, is it? Two hundred and twenty-four. Fuck me, that was good. Yeah. What a reassuring is that three hundred remains the best seed for what is built to supply all needs because it is the one with the most pork so I'm particular. Excellent. Shit, I forgot about that. We've only got one bork so I'm on over here. It's gonna get boosted by these items and we've got a bronze age over here so yeah that's all good forgot about box up we need aluminium for some of these don't we fuck it how much how much how much, how much aluminium do we need Can't even see it. One thousand four hundred tons a minute. Is that even going to be possible? Oh. Okay, Stephen McLeod, 50% boost. Jorg von Mauchin, 70% boost. And the Ferris is a 50, but I suppose you put a Meg in because it's going to electrify it. Meg, Mountain, and McLeod. I need to test this. We need to test this.
Meg Mauchin. Actually, isn't the sapo fifty percent? Yeah, and it's more than seventy-five percent workforce. But yeah, workforce we're not gonna bother about that. We're gonna be getting gold and pearl back from the clouds, so gold we're gonna test that we're gonna test this very soon Robs I don't want to set a trade route I just want to send you to I mean if we can electrify every island so we don't have to use Meg we can get another 50% boost but We'll see how much we can generate from one mine and then we'll count up how many mines we have. Count up the mines in the new world now. Uh, one, two, seven. Do we need helium for any of this shit? No, helium, we only need a finite amount to make the airships, yeah? So we've got one, two. Can we change helium pockets? No, we can't, but we can change. It's not letting me change that either. Interesting. What about a gold mine? No, so you can't change any of the mines. You can't change any of the mines. Why? Is that a bug? You can make bauxite from clay pits. Make bauxite from clay pits, so that's easily done then. You'd have a meg to electrify the clay pit. In fact, isn't there an item that extra electrifies it? Yeah, this one. So this electrifies it and gives pearls. Then we'll have Stephen McLeod, which is 50% boost. And then this one that gives bauxite. So every clay pit in the old world. We're easily going to be able to make enough bauxite from that. Easy. We'll just group the clay pits in clusters, electrify them on every island. Yeah. Easy. Look how much clay we've got. We've got in a lot. We've actually got a use for it. Don't have a lot, but we do have it. It's going to be nearly on nearly every island in the new world. Pretty much every island in the new world has got some sort of clay pit here. Yeah? Even these little ones. So yeah, bauxite shouldn't be too much of an issue. But let's see how much we can make from one. Clank. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in, mate. Alright, so electrified. Got one bauxite mine on this island with Bronze Age, Mountain, Megan and McLeod. Is 
is 25 tons. From one bauxite mine. And we have five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. So we can make three hundred. We can make three hundred simply from the twelve mines that we've got here. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve times twenty-five is three hundred. So yeah, and then we've got how many clay pits? Three, seven, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, nineteen. 21 24 27 29 30 34 37 38 40 40 clay pits that's just in the old world. So yeah, your 800, 807 tons of bauxite is probably about right. So then we need to work out whether it's going to be better to use that bauxite to make scooters and stuff for investors or for these to generate mail. But yeah, that's something we'll have to deal with later on down the line. Can't be helped. Well, anyway, guys. Thank you very much for coming and spending some time with me on a Sunday evening, but I'm going to get off now. Jalea, it's pretty much done. Ooh, res Cal, definitely done. Next time, we'll tackle footballs, I think. Thanks, Herbie. Tackle soccer balls. Soccer balls need simply rubber and nandos, so we can probably change. Would have thought about that. We could have probably changed these to nandu farms. Are they bigger? A chunkier. Oh, yeah. So, nandus will be made somewhere else. Yep. Thanks ever so much, Robs. Thanks, Herbie. Thanks for the new subscriber. Uh, we had Sistain. Happy with the resub. Clank for the follow. Good stream. And yeah, I'll see you again. Uh, Tuesday is probably in reality when I'm going to be on next. But yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.